Just gonna go for a freaking walk. Calm down. Another pseudo beautiful day. It's actually supposed to be really nice later. It's currently 36 degrees. I'm on my way to the shop to drop off my bike and get a new rear tire. Hopefully the roads will be a little bit, uh, a little bit less cold then. Less roll on this tire, and then I'm getting, I'm getting a Pirelli Angel GT put on. So hopefully they're as good as I've read. In hindsight, putting a liner in the jacket could have been a good idea. I didn't do that. So the reason why I'm going and getting this tire, if you didn't see a previous video, is we got some road trips coming up. Um, pretty long ones. The tire I've got's not gonna last. That's why I'm getting this tire. And as we're getting closer to actually taking the trip, um, we're gonna be pulling about 650, 700 miles a day. I, I realized that the longest trip I've ever gone on uh, was 653 miles and it was on my old R6. I was destroyed after that trip. I mean just annihilated after that trip. If you can see my leg here, there's there's a lot of bend and that is going to be like that for well several several hours a day. The, the trip I did it was 653 miles. It was 653 miles and I didn't you know I didn't get up and ride again the next day. This one is going to be that plus more and then getting up as early as possible the next day and doing it again. I'm starting to get a little worried about it, but um, you know, it's all planned, it's all in the works, it's all done, so soldier on, adventure, I guess. I haven't had breakfast yet. Breakfast sounds good. Ah, visor's foggy. Do the anti-fog shields ever work? I don't think so. I don't think so. Neutral. There we go. That's a gear. I recently had somebody comment on a video. And I actually know who the person is because they're related to me. Anyway, comment and ask if there was any corners where I live. Uh, yeah, they're right here. Everything else is straight. Check. No, really, there's, there's not a lot of corners around here, apart from like up in the mountain area. Which, uh, last time I went up to, I mean, there are, you know, corners and stuff, not a problem, but there's either A, way too much traffic to really get going most of the time, or B, uh, there's gravel and stuff, so you can't actually do anything in the corners. Now, I know some people got them fancy bikes and they can, uh, they get like traction control and whatnot. And they can uh, they can achieve much more than me. All right, I am here. So I'm gonna drop it off the bike, and then I uh, will actually be coming back and picking it up sometime later. We'll check out the new tire. Ah, there we are. New tire. Ah, time to go scrub it in. Mm. Gotta really take it easy. I know they've improved the manufacturing process and everything. And that blah blah blah, you can just take a brand new tire and just go hurl it around and you don't have any problems. But I disagree with that still. Whenever I'm scrubbing in a new tire, I like to just gently weave a little bit. Get progressively more aggressive with it. Um, I also like to do it when there's a little bit less traffic just in case something does go wrong. I don't want to slide in front of a car. So this is how I like to do it. I know that there's, you know, a bunch of different, different things different people say. I find that, in essence, especially doing this, like leaning and everything, it warms up, warms up the tire. And it's not, it's not science by any means, but it's just what I found that works for me. So whenever I get a new tire, I just go rock it back and forth, get the slick stuff off of my tire. 
once I once I get this tire all scrubbed in and everything, I'll, I'll try to take it around some corners and different things, get some miles on it, and uh, I guess chime in with my two cents on it. <sighs> oh, this is always fun. Yes, I am this much of a tool. I like parking garages. Especially not busy ones. Alright, and moving on. That was so much fun. Alright, the game is to try to not get hit. And, yep, didn't even... Did you even look? Dude, look, man! Stupid freaking people, dude, I swear. <sighs> Get so freaking sick of these people around here. No signal, no anything. <sighs> I need to just calm down. I hate freaking getting like that. I hate getting so upset. And I try not to. I do my best not to get upset. I do my best to just accept that it's going to freaking happen. And, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. And these people, they don't care. You can stop. You can freaking yell at them. You can punch them in the face. They don't even give a crap. But I hate getting like that. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that person. Like, no part of me wants to be that guy that's, like, freaking, you know, road raging and crap on people. Like, I don't want to do that. And then I just feel bad after every time I do it because, you know, I should be better than that. I, I should be. I hold myself to a higher standard than that. And I freaking do it anyway. It just goes to show I'm not perfect, you know? Like, I, I say I'm not perfect. I don't have it all figured out. If you watch, like, the Thursday Things videos, I, I say that. Like, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't have it all figured out. I'm not, you know, I'm not whatever. And that just shows it. Because, honestly, like, I had room. I had enough room to stop. And, fortunately, I was paying attention. And that's just it. Like, when you're out on a bike, you've got to be defensive. You have to be overly defensive. You have to... Just accept that people are going to encroach on you, and should that be how it is? No, not at all. If it comes down to like a road rage thing or whatever, like, you know, all they have to do is go flip mode and decide to freaking run into you, and what are you gonna do? You can't do anything about it. If it looks like a place where they can hit you, if you think that there's a chance, then they're, they're gonna do it. I mean, that's just how you have to ride. You have to ride under the assumption all the time that every single car is gonna pull out. Like, that's why I ride over here, right here, because any one of those cars, without looking, can just pull right out. Interwebs, I'm angry. I'm legit angry. Did not intend to go all, like, you know, freaking road rage video. I, I've actually been intentionally on this channel trying to leave things like that out, but I think this time I'm going to put it in just because of, you know, my failures and the standards I hold myself to and how I didn't live up to that because I want to show I'm human, you know? And uh, that guy, if for some reason he sees this, you know what? I'm sorry for like freaking rev bombing you because um, that's not how I should act. That's not how I should behave. I failed. I fully know before anybody sees whatever, like I had room. I understand that. I just, I get completely sick of you know, people trying to run into me all the freaking time because they just don't look. It happens at least once every single time I go ride. I, I should be used to it after all the years, but it still just, it catches me and makes me angry. I overreacted and I, I feel bad. I, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Like I said, I'm going to go to this park, I'm going to chill and uh, just relax. If you like this video, if you like what you see, you want to see more from me then definitely subscribe get notifications whenever i put something new up i do put up videos three times a week so on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays uh, if you don't like it definitely leave me a comment let me know why if you do like it leave me a comment and just uh let me know you watched it so uh anyway thank you very much for watching and until next time bye ice cream truck ice cream truck